this video, we're going to build a query in Google Sheets that not only summarizes a date field by month and year, but outputs that month and year in one single column. So you can see here we have a data set of loan detail information and one field is this disbursement date field. And we want to summarize our query output for this field as month and year in one single column. So on a new tab, I'm going to begin our query statement. The first input is the data we want to query off of, which is the loan detail on the previous tab. And I'm going to begin this first input with a curly bracket because curly brackets can handle arrays in Google Sheets. And what we want to do is chop up the first argument, our array our detail into separate arrays because we want to isolate this disbursement date column into its own array because we need to nest it within certain functions in order to summarize it as a month and year. So our first array is going to be columns A through E. So I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down and then I'm going to add a comma because Columns are joined together in an array in curly brackets by commas. So our next input is going to be our disbursement date column. Going to hit F4 to lock that down. And then finally, our last one is going to be this last column containing our interest rate. So I'm going to close out our curly brackets and what I want to do here is first enclose our column F data, our loan disbursement date, in the month function because that will return the month. Now, the month function cannot handle arrays, so what I need to do is nest this within the array formula function because it takes non array outputs and converts them to array outputs. So what I want to do is copy all of this and add a comma because we want to do the exact same thing, only change this function here to the year function to output the year. What I also want to do is add a dash in between the month and the year. So within our first array formula, between these two closing parentheses, what I want to do is add an and symbol and then a dash in between two double quotes because that will join that to our month output within this array formula. Now, what I also need to do is join these two array formula outputs together because Right now, they would still output into separate columns. So we need to use the concat function to join these two arrays together. Now, like the month and the year function, the concat function cannot output as an array. So again, we need to nest the output of this concat function within the array formula to convert the output to an array. So now we have everything for our first input that should convert this disbursement date column to a month and year output in one single column. So now we're back to our second argument in our query statement, which is our select statement. So that begins with the keyword select. And since we built this array in our first argument manually when we refer to our columns we cannot refer to the column letter anymore we have to refer to the column number so just keep that in mind that's very important it will not work it will error out if you do not refer to your columns as the column number so column f is our disbursement date column which is one, two, three, four, five, six, column six. 
So what we want to do is just summarize our data by the month and the year and then sum the original amount column, which is column five. So we want to sum column five. And since we summed column five, we need to add a group by statement for our column that is not summed, which is our month and year column column six. So for now, that's the end of our second input. We'll probably add some more things like column headers once we see how the output looks. So now we have the number of row headers we have in our original data set, which is just one row of headers. So you can see this outputs and summarizes our data by month and year but we have a error for our column header. So what we can do there is use the label statement, reference our column again, which is column six, and then give it a column name enclosed in single quotes. So we'll just say disbursement month and year. That looks a little better. So now what we also want to do is format our values for our original principal balance here on our loans because it's not formatted. So we want to format the sum of column five as an accounting format. And that is enclosed in single quotes. So you can see that it looks a little better. So now what if we wanted to filter this list down? Maybe we just wanted to see the month of May. So we can go back after our last column and before our group by statement and add a where condition. So where column six is equal to May 2020. So you can see that outputs are just our month of May, May data there. So that is how you can build a query in Google Sheets that outputs your date fields by month and year in one single column. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.